I was completely overwhelmed by everything that happened on Thursday night. There were so many impressions and even more so lots of emotions and since then so many things have been talked about that I started to think what else could I add to anything. But then I asked myself, do I have it in me? So here we go. Hey, hey, so ABBA is back. We will be getting a brand new studio album in exactly two months from today. We will be getting 10 new ABBA songs. There is of course so much to talk about and to go through. We have the album itself, we have the track list, the overall design of this project, the music video and the concerts. We will be talking about all of it, but today I'd really like to focus on the music we got. ABBA's two brand new songs from the album Voyage. I can't believe what I'm saying here. I listened to both songs several times by now, but on Thursday I only listened to them once during the broadcast simply because it was really emotional for me to handle. And so I handled these songs very carefully. But I'm telling you this because when I woke up the next day, and this is so amazing, I had both songs still in my head. But the most amazing thing about that is, of course, that they are not just simple songs. They are simple, they stick in your head, but at the same time, they are so complex in their structure and production that you will always find something new to pick up. And also, when I say that they stuck in your head, I not only mean the hook or the chorus, but the verses as well. And that doesn't happen very often. It's absolutely amazing. And it also showed me that these songs felt extremely familiar from the get-go. That's what struck me the most. Because I didn't know before what would be the case. And in another video of mine, we discussed the possibility that the new songs could probably feel somewhat different from the rest of Abba's legacy for quite some time. It's really strange and my guess is that it will feel strange for a long time, even if the songs are great. They will always be the new ones for us living right now. It turned out quite quickly, not for me. It's like a seamless continuation, really like they never left and all those 40 years are just a blink of an eye. That sounds exactly what the other members felt in the studio, so at least for me, I can really feel that within the music too, with these two songs. That's my general feeling, but let's talk about the two songs now, track by track. I Still Have Faith in You actually starts with the intro we have known from the teaser trailers the week before, and then Frida's voice. So I'll say right away, her vocals are absolutely magnificent. It's unbelievable to think that she recorded her last full album 25 years ago and sounds so good. She recorded tracks here and there, of course, but this is her first full-length album in a quarter of a century. And soon after Frida's solo, Agneta joins in. And there it is, the ladies are together again, the unforgettable ABBA sound. It's a slow beginning, like a ballad, but then those really punchy drums kick in and later on, Björn and Benny join the ladies on backing vocals and that entire grand finale of the song with these back and forth vocals with Frida coming in and out reminded me of the end of The Visitors, the song, just the style and it really gets the build-up energy of the song to its climax. The song itself reminds me of a great musical number with so many different sections and interesting chord changes but it's more than that, it's really epic especially with all four members singing together, it's so great. And it also reminds me of a very warm sound, like the Super Trooper album has it on songs like Our Last Summer, maybe it has a bit of The Way Old Friends Do. But with all these comparisons, I really have to stress that I feel like this song is truly unique in ABBA's catalogue, that they haven't quite done anything like this before, structurally, musically and lyrically. We really have to talk about Björn's lyrics. For the first time really in an ABBA song, the song is about ABBA, self-reflective about the group and their journey. Yes, we had songs that were certainly inspired by their personal lives, but I think those were more like individual and private cases. This time, it is about ABBA, the collective group. And the fantastic thing in these wonderful lyrics for me is the fact that he expresses so much with just a few words, really, because there's not too much room in the melodies for lyrics. And that reminded me of Björn and Benny's anthem for the Eurovision Song Contest 2013, We Write the Story, where he also used only a few words. Just listen to these words from I Still Have Faith in You. New spirit has arrived, the joy and the sorrow, we have a story and it survived. And we need one another like fighters in a ring, we're in this together 
Passion and courage is everything. These are some of my favorite lines, and this one too. We stand on a summit, humble and grateful to have survived. It's true, it has been 40 years, and they are still here with us, best of friends, back with an entire new studio album. Which other band can say that? The second song we got is Don't Shut Me Down, this time with Agneta on lead vocals, equally beautiful and strong, but there is also a vulnerability to her voice, the same with Frida, and I don't mean this in a condescending way, I mean it very positively, I love that. And this song gets us right back into the 70s, it really gets us dancing, doesn't it? But it starts also very quiet first, with some very beautiful poetic images. Wow, I can really see Agneta sitting on that bench in the park, watching the apartments, thinking about the times. And Björn's lyrics for this song, I just can't go into any personal highlights, because for me, this is a lyrical masterpiece, the entire song. It's so damn good. Then the song goes up-tempo, we dance, the ABBA harmonies make it all full circle, it's sublime. And then we have these gorgeous horns and some terrific strings, like interjections, but really prominent. And that's what I love about both of these songs. They do things they never really did, or they do it with even more joy and fun. They just let loose and go for it. I love how the song ends, returning to that slow sentiment from the beginning, but with hope and strength, which is basically what both songs are about. As I said in the beginning, to me, these two songs feel nothing like an attachment to Abba's legacy. They are a seamless part of it. And dare I say it, they add to the legacy. They are a perfect completion and, for me at least, can exist without any difficulties next to Abba's very best songs from the past. Here's my friend Sam with his feelings about Abba's new music. So the big moment has arrived so many of us were longing for, some of us for 40 years. I was born in 1991, so ABBA, which was one of my favorite bands of all time, was always like a dream that ended in eternity ago. To hear new ABBA music now is something beyond words. It seems just too simple to throw around statements like, I thought that day would never come, because it still feels more like, is this even real? I feel like I'm caught in my own alternate fan fiction reality, but everyone else seems to experience it as well. The first time I heard I still have faith in you and don't shut me down, I didn't know what to make of it. I was so hyped to hear new ABBA music that the sounds were just bouncing off my eardrums. But then they slowly sunk in and I listened closely. And what's fascinating is the more I hear them, the more I hear old ABBA in them. Little details in production choices, like the dominant bus line in Don't Shut Me Down, which instantly reminded me of the one in One of Us at Soldiers. But there was really no better way to return after 40 years with a song like I Still Have Faith in You, which is pretty much the exact opposite from The Day Before You Came, the last recording before the big break. It's full of hope, reflectiveness and companionship. But the most beautiful thing about their new work is they don't pretend that 39 years hadn't passed. At times you can hear the passing of time in Frida's and Agneta's voices, the slight fragility and lower tones, all things they could have fixed easily in the studio, but they didn't. It reminded me of Bowie's final album Blackstar, on which he really made use of his fragile, almost croaky voice. It was an artistic statement, and it's an artistic statement for ABBA as well. It's who they are now, still ABBA, but more experienced and relaxed. No relationship drama, just a band, just friends, enjoying themselves and letting the music speak. I couldn't imagine a better way for any band, and in our case for our band ABBA, to return with new music than with these two songs. It couldn't be any better, musically, lyrically, and sonically, and emotionally. As I said, we will definitely talk all about Voyage, the album, the music video, the concerts and everything else that happened over those last few days and will happen in the future. So keep an eye out, as always we'll go in depth. But now I want to know, what are your feelings with ABBA's new songs? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, until then, hey do!